Hello everyone, we are back. It's been a while since we played Star Stables. Can you hear me? Yes, you should be able to. Uh, I'm currently reading the update for Star Stables and it's just like reminding you that we have one week left of the winter stuff. Horses are on discount. There's a London Fog set. I don't know what that is. Um, I missed the past few updates. So we're just gonna see the, what quests are available and uh, explore, train. I wanna do a new look. So I wanna get a new hairstyle, get a makeup style. And I learned via my research that most of the things I like is either in Silverglade or Cape West. So I'm gonna work on those. Hello Kaito, I see that you were the first one here and I see that you're on a five stream streak, which means you were correct yesterday when you said you had four. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so, I'm, I'm speechless how you and Sasha are just like fighting over who has the longest streak. Alright, okay, let me make sure you guys can see the game. Mm -mm -mm. It's been a while since we played Star Stables. It's already nighttime on Star Stables. Everything is like gloomy and northern lighty. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you guys are like ever serious about like the little arguments of who is top fan or whatever. I I discovered a food glitch, so I have all these like fruits and vegetables. And if I feed it to my horse, it doesn't take any away, so I just have an infinite food glitch. I don't know. I don't know. It's also really late at night for me. Like, I don't usually stream this late. Okay, that's a lie. I usually stream this late when I'm playing with someone else. But this is like a solo online game. So technically I'm not alone, but also at the same time alone. <sighs> Alright. I did want to change my outfit to like the sparkly outfit that I have designed for this horse. Let me change my ear. There we go. Mm. I like the deer one. It's cuter. Alright, so to my knowledge, let's look at our quest log. Penguin Optical Course, Ranging Assistant for a Ranger, A Worthy Challenge, Crackles for Snow Jumping, Snow Golems. Snow Golems? I have missed the past few updates. I have no clue what's happening. I've been logging on. I've been getting like the advent calendar stuff, but I didn't want to do the new like quests and stuff unless I was streaming. So I have, I just, there's so much to do. Look at all that stuff. I'm gonna start with the the training bit. Try to hit, try to hit everything, Jesus. I was kind of half expecting that after you typed first, Kaito, that Sasha would just appear and say, "No, no, no, I'm first. and you guys would get into a little argument and chat while I was away getting cranberry juice. Like what? I just I don't know I don't I I don't know what's happening in your lives. I think Sasha mentioned that she's back in school, so maybe that's why she didn't like just appear. She's busy studying, being a good student. I when I was a student, I never studied. That's probably why I averaged B's, <laughs> but like I didn't mind it because that meant I still I still passed. I, I'm jealous of people that can easily take naps. I literally cannot take naps unless Captain is next to me. And I think that's a good thing, but at the same time a bad thing. I think people who have said that to a therapist before, the therapist is like, that means you're not safe in your own home, or you don't feel safe in your own home. And I'm just like, 
Yeah, but I'm, I'm not- I don't feel safe anywhere. Technically speaking. Oh, wow, we just got so deep. We're not even ten minutes into the stream and we're talking about not feeling safe. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this game brings out the deepness in me and I don't understand why since it's a kid's game. It's literally designed for kids, even though it does include death and mentions of death and stuff like that. Um, I had an exact conversation with the therapist. Exactly, exactly! I've never been to a therapist, but I can see them saying that. I think it's because so happy and carefree, you feel like you can open about it. Um, I, I don't know. Alright, there's a quest up here, and it's with... Oh god, what's this? This, whatever this thing is. Crumble's name. Uh, ranging assistance for a ranger and snow golems. We'll do a ranger. Thank goodness you stopped by! Are you by any chance headed to Moreland? One of the rangers there is in need of wildlife expert. Well, truth is, you don't have to be an expert. You just have to be interested in welfare of animals, which I believe you are. Ponce? I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that word? <laughs> Welcome in, J-Raptor. I hope you're having a good day. Pesky snow glums. They like to steal the magic of snow piles and run off with it. If you see one being mischievous, round it up and bring him back to bring him back winter magic. I was friends with a snow golem once. His name is Harry, and he was the chillest snow golem you ever met. That was until he led the golem. Oh, it's goblin, snow goblin. I've been saying it wrong this whole entire time. Yes. Horse. Haunts. Um, that was until he led the goblin uprisings. We Caprions. Caprions! Right, Caprions. That's what they are. Have been mortal enemies of goblins ever since. Snow goblins. Alright, we're continuing that mission, but first there's a ranger mission back in Moreland. I feel like this is just their yearly explanation of like, hey, this this winter wildlife wildlife is going extinct. Beware, be mo uh, notified, informed. They do, they tend to do this. Snow golems? No, Sn goblin. Ha ha ha. I like goblins. I'm a drink goblin. Yes, it's the wildlife uh, friggin' sentence about arctic foxes. It's every year with the arctic foxes. Every year. Is this guy about to like go on a whole- Oh, it's this mission! I remember this mission. So this one person was talking about arctic foxes, and the other guy's talking about catching a yeti. And we go to like an island where there is a yeti, but the yeti's trying to eat foxes, and it's just this whole thing. And it's like a temporary island that's only there for this one quest. I I'm just trying to get past it. I don't want to do this quest anymore. <laughs> Alright, I know what that quest is about. Don't have to worry about that one. I already did it last year, and I don't think it would give me anything new besides just tokens that I already get plenty of from doing other tasks. Okay, and then there is no goblins, which I don't remember off the top of my head. So let's see what that one's about. Where is he? Okay. Oh my god. It's hard to direct a horse when you're on ice. I'm I'm curious to see what these snow goblins look like. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a rabbit. Because the gingerbread uh, cookies that were on the loose were the gingerbread pet, which happened to be a gnome. 
They tend to reuse models for some things. Hello, I am here. A snow goblin. Wait, this is the snow goblin? This looks like Crumble. That looks straight up like Crumble. Okay, I might as well get the other gingerbread. There's another one around here somewhere. Where's the gingerbread? Nope, that's a snowflake. Those are squirrels. Gingerbread! I would not be surprised if he's just on the ice. There he is! I saw him for a moment! I saw him for a moment. He is on the ice. Found you! Slippery. Get here. There we go. Oh, come on. Where'd it go? Where's the one I lost? They changed the speed out the speed again. It used to tell you how fast you were going, and now it's like, oh no, we'll just give you a tiny little symbol just floating in the middle of your screen. Where did it go? Where's where's the gingerbread I missed? Where did put the where to go? I don't even know. Maybe we'll do that one later. Let them be lost. We have to get back to Crumble. Oh, now they can keep up. I'm not going too fast for them. But the other one I went too fast for, even though I was going half this speed. Jesus! I can't drop off too and be okay with that. I have to do them all together. These two can keep up. Oh, I just... Why? Okay, what are the other missions? There's another race down here. Oh, there we go. I heard them both drop off. I just had to go down the slide. Okay, there's another race here. I'm inside of someone. Very uncomfy. Today's Wednesday, right? <laughs> I've been asking me myself that the whole entire day. I usually start streaming on Monday, so when I didn't stream on Monday, it threw me completely off. <laughs> Thank you, Gardo. I'm just... Wow, I am all over the place. Tomorrow is D&D, and on my schedule I have Sims on Friday, but I might cancel that so we can watch Supernatural longer. And I'll stream Sims on Saturday instead. There's just some chaos Sims with our Sims, you know? I made the one brain cell crew into Sims and now I'm gonna put them to the chaos wheel test. I mentioned Saturday, but I thought someone said that they couldn't do Saturday. I, th I, I, we need to discuss those plans more. That is what I'm learning from this. That was you, <laughs> Jesus, Kaido. I know Captain's over at my house around Saturday night. What the heck was that? Did someone set off a firework? Something just went bing. I know Captain's usually over at my house at night. So I'm going like whenever. And I know you guys need me there. 
Because I'm the one that's like... Has the Netflix. You didn't have the brain cell? I, I don't blame you. I don't think... I think the brain cell had to re like recharge. Because it was late at night. It was almost midnight when we were discussing this. Like... I, I do not blame you. Why am I going outside of the pen? Hold up. This is not how... This is this is not how show jumping works. <laughs> At least I made it easier for myself, I guess. <laughs> oh no, it's rechargeable too. Yes. Exactly. A rechargeable one brain cell. It's like that flashlight from uh Tattletale. <laughs> you gotta have to shake to power it up. So crackles race. Crackles cracking show jumping. The show jumping does not leave the arena. <laughs> if anything, the minute that it leaves the arena, it is now uh, cross country. It is not show jumping. I just kicked a caprion. Why do I feel like caprion is a type of fish? I feel like a Caprion is the type of fish. I keep kicking them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I do enjoy their screams. And that sounds wrong. You know, the other day, I... I think we were watching Supernatural. And I left to take care of Holly. And a few minutes later, after I'm done walking Holly, I get a text from Sasha saying, I'm so excited for your D&D &D campaign. And I'm like, what are y'all talking about that I'm suddenly getting this message? It turns out Captain and Sasha were talking about his campaign, which made her excited about my campaign. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> I'm going to be posting a new uh, main channel video tomorrow, and it's going to be the uh, 2023 best moments. Oh, there's another race here! Oh my god, the amount of training I could be doing? Penguin ri Race Manager. I almost said rice. Why don't you have a name? We have Crackle, we got Crumble. Where's your name? You could be Crumpet. You could be a Crumpet. Oh yeah, someone, if someone shook me, my brain cell would work. What's your definition of shaking you? Like they just pick you up in a hug? Like they hug you so tight, they pick you up and shake you around? Is that shaking you up? Or, or do you mean like shake you up like a jump scare? Because we already agreed to play FNAF together. I don't know when, but we agreed to it. Oh my god, this ice is super slippery. What the heck is happening? No, they grab my shoulders and violently shake me. I've done that to Captain before, just because. And I've also asked him to do it back to me. Because there's been times in which I just feel out of it. And a good shaking will wake me up. Is that weird? I feel like that might be weird. <laughs> I think I've also done it to other people too, because it's just funny. I find it really funny. <laughs> you feel it too? Okay, good. When someone gets shaken up by the shoulders and their head just goes limp and they like go with it, it's just so funny to me. I don't know why. For FNAF, I'll DM you. I'm going into surgery next week. Not quite sure how long. 
What? I hope everything is okay. What the heck? This is the first I'm hearing of that. Is everything okay? Are you good? I didn't get that horse. It's a good thing? Okay. I'm gonna trust you. I know how, how intense surgeries can be. I've had two in my lifetime so far. And both times I just stay in the hospital for a week just to make sure nothing goes wrong. To be fair though, one was like an organ exploded and one is an organ wasn't at full working capacity. <laughs> Apparently I'm supposed to be out as soon as I wake up from the anesthesia. So I guess it's not, it wouldn't be super invasive then. Obviously if there's like Anastasia, maybe it's like wisdom teeth maybe? Cause that makes sense. Oh God. <laughs> um. It's weird because I'm just finding out that one of the surgeries I had was because my sister jabbed me with a rake. But that's that's interesting. Yes, please DM me. I'm highly curious. I can tell you about my surgeries right now if you want me to, but I don't want to freak you out. I know there's people like my sister out there in which they get like squeamish because of surgeries. Even though she herself has gotten several surgeries before, she'll still get squeamish over the idea of it. Where's the horse? There's the horse! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! That's one of the horses I have, that's why I immediately recognized it. Oh, I leveled up my magic. I feel like the first time they put me under, though, was a lot nicer than the second time. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember the second time when they put me under. I just remember waking up. Okay, so my first surgery when I was seven, so I was a child. And when you're a child, they don't, like, put a mask on you to put you out. Or at least they didn't for me. What they did for me was that they gave me, like, cough syrup Anastasia. So it was like in a little sippy cup, and it was pink, and it tasted like bubblegum, and I drank it, and a few minutes later, I was out. <laughs> and then the next thing I know, I'm waking up, and they're offering me a video game, such as Spyro, to play and, and just, like, do whatever. I'm not reading any of this. <laughs> Sounds like he has a mission for me. It's a lot less traumatizing. It's just a sippy cup. Winter challenges. Collect winter snowflakes this session. Take a photo of a magical horse. Reach a new level of winter magic this season. I, I did that. I did all those. <laughs> they did try to make it more fun by telling us what to do, but like... Look at the amount of things that I still have to do. Like, I'm not doing any of these by next week. You had tonsil surgery? Nice. I've always, like, I grew up with kids saying that they got to uh, tonsil surgery, and I still don't know what that means. I don't. No clue what that means. What is the amount of snowflakes in this area? Jesus. Oh, we get more by completing those missions. Oh, that makes it easier. Wow, that makes it a lot easier. Can I take another photo of Noble or does it have to get replaced? And okay, we have to do the chainsaw thing with Alex. 
Okay, let's see if this works. I leveled up my horse sometime. Tonsils removed. There are these things in the back of your throat. Mine keeps getting infected when I got sick, so it made it hard for me for you to breathe. Oh! I guess I still have mine then, because I never had those removed. Okay, what is what is the button? This Q, isn't it? There we go. Follow. Follow me. Why aren't you following? It says that it, she can't. I guess she's stuck there. Some people get these things called con uh, tonsil stones. Don't look them up. Don't look up anything that involves the human body. I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna. Very stern about this. Never look up anything involving the human body. You will get scarred. <laughs> this has happened to me on so many occasions. <laughs> it's it's very traumatizing. <laughs> I still remember being a kid, and in my class, we had this um, demonstration in which if you put your hand in a fist, that's approximately the size of your heart. Well, I did that, and I looked at my, mine, and I was just like, but my heart has a hole in it. And then I look over at my pencil, and I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna do it, intrusive thoughts. What are you talking about? I'm not doing that. That's, that's a bad thing. <laughs> If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I have a lot of bad intrusive thoughts at times, okay? The other day, I went for a late at night walk, which I do sometimes. Just something I do. If it's a nice enough day and it's not too dark, I'll go for a walk at night. Baby Nay is just like adult Nay. Hey, it's the same person. Same trauma, okay? Um, so I went for a walk the other day and it was late at night and there's a lot of bridges on my walk and I'm, one time I decided to look over at the black abyss known as the water <laughs> same trauma yeah exactly same trauma um so I, I look over at the black abyss known as the water and for anyone who was looking at me it probably looked so strange I'm blasting music in my ears I'm looking over a rail a thick a thin rail that I can easily climb over the for the bridge and anyone who looked at me would probably be very worried don't be because literally I was looking down there at a duck oh it's a penguin I was looking at a duck he was doing his own dang business and I was enjoying watching him he had a green head. That's how I know it's a he. I know my animals. What am I doing? I should be going to Cape West. Oh no, I should check on the crystal because I leveled that up. But it looks like I'm almost ready to level it up again. gonna run past them oh here's the other one it ran all the way back there what snow golem oh my god that was so many points I didn't expect that to happen it just sort of did the only thing, only one we can't do is the horse one because I already did that and you only do that once a day, once an hour, something like that. I didn't know this was a thing, otherwise I would have waited on the horse. Oh, I lit up a little bit. 
Oh, it's glowing slightly now. Does it look less purple? I don't know. I can't tell. What's this one? Oh, milestone. Okay, so now it's glowing slightly. That's cool. Do I get something for that? Fumble. Okay. Uh, we can try to find Noble again. But, honestly, I want to start doing the makeover. All the crystals around us now is slightly glowing, which is awesome how they have that effect. I don't know where Noble would be. I think we can go in a circle, but I'm just like, I don't know how long it takes to do the circle. Or what the exact path is. I know they go like, down this way somewhere. They walk down this way. And then they go across. And then I, I, I don't know, they just keep going around the circle. It's, it's a circle. I don't know where they go. Hey! There it is! <laughs> I found it! They go across the they go across the lake. That's not a circle. Can I take another photo of you? No. Okay, can't do that mission. But now I know that exists, so during my training, I'll I guess I'll continue that. See how far I can get. Let's go to was it Cape West Silver Glade? Let's go to both. Let's see what we find. We need a new hairstyle and a new makeup. I might go between the two of them quite a bit. How much shillings do I have? Over 5,000. I think we're good. <laughs> I think I have enough shillings for a new hairstyle and new makeup style. Of traveling between the different towns to get the said hairstyle and makeup style. Oh, why is it foggy in here now? Oh, I didn't look for the London fog. That should be fine. There's, oh, the wildlife mission. I have all the hairstyle places marked out. We can go to Silverglade first since that's within running distance. I don't know why there's countdowns. New Year's already happened, but now there's countdowns all over the server. Makes me feel like something's going to blow up. And I'm not quite sure what. Um, I'm hoping it's the refrigerator doors. So there is a hairstylist somewhere in town. That's male. Tack. There we go, hairstylist. Why is it snowing indoors? Why is it snowing indoors? Why do I feel like I have that one already? Wait, which ones do I have? Okay, I have like the short no bang ones. Which I think is called a wavy bob. Got the Jojo, got the magenta side, and I got the basic starter one. This has like all the hairstyles. I thought they were spread out. Okay. 
The, my horse magic doesn't help me in this story turn. Wait, we can get them for shillings? Since when? I thought we needed star coins to do it. I thought we needed star coins. I can buy this one with shillings. Like, what? Mm, that's the one I have already. That's cute. There's another hairstyle for that I want to check out. That they don't have here, surprisingly. I'm trying to find like a natural look that's just slightly better <laughs> than what I currently have. There's some shilling looks too. This is shocking to me. Okay, let's check Cape West. Cause they have usually the hairstyles I like besides the the city. Okay. Okay. Tree ruined my plans. Ah. Uh, yep, okay. We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Transport is right here. Okay. Keep west. I wanted to get this like fancy hairstyle that I probably would rarely use, but I wanted to get it. So we're gonna try to aim to get that. There's two salons in town. One here. Mermaid's Pearl, which if I remember correctly is usually the one with all like the 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 pink stuff. This has the same thing. Okay, not quite. There's some stuff that isn't normally there. thinking about pigtails. I'll admit that. At some point I was thinking about pigtails because I have that Wednesday outfit. I might get just the plain hair but we'll have to see. Maybe. I quite like that one. It adds a wing and it darkens the lips. Come back to that one. There's another hairstylist behind this little crevice. Right over here. Captain's cut. Wrong button. <laughs> so is this the same one? Same thing. Okay. There's a specific hairstyle. I need to look it up. Where is it? Fort Pinta or Yorlahelm? Okay, I guess we're going to Fort Pinta. I might get both, to be honest. Something over, overly dramatic and one that's really simple. I might do both. I know I have the stir coins for it. Jesus, Jesus, I can't drive! What is happening? I swear I have not been drinking. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> I 
I don't know what you mean. Do you mean my skeleton raven that's just flying around me? Beauty on the beach. Let's see. I got the side ones. Here's the ones I was thinking about getting. It's like overly dramatic. <laughs> Not at least yet. Not yet at least. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Gonna get this one. Equip now. See, this is the overly dramatic one. This is the winged one I was thinking about getting. There we go. And I, I'm gonna go back and get the simple haircut too. From Cape West. I look so much fancier now. I look good. Let's go to Cape West. Oh, I have 420 star coins. How good is that? And now I just like spent a week's, two weeks worth of star coins on just makeup and hair, but I don't mind. Because I know I can just continue using the hair and the makeup. Oh my god, what? Keep going. The freaking alleyway. So much easier to see the path when there's not snow on the ground. Okay, let's get... Not makeup. I want to see the simple hair. Show me simplicity. Simplicity. Very simple, very clean. Send to storage. And then I'm thinking we can go back. Look at our outfit. There we go, call for pickup. I've been watching Umbrella Academy like non-stop today. I couldn't barely get anything done. Cause my mind was just so preoccupied by Umbrella Academy. Okay, let's go into my stable. You can see it a lot better in this lighting. Did I get the dark brown or is it just, that's the only brown available? I think that's the only brown available. <laughs> I do like the poofiness. My hair is naturally poofy. I like it. Should we do a little bit of training? Level up Ember? Oh, I forgot that I have... I have new horses you guys might not know about. Um, did I move them into the stables yet? I don't think I did. I didn't! Okay. Which, I'll be back for you. I have three horses that I'm currently training. We have Ember. We have... Ginger. Which, what is Ginger wearing? Temporary gear, obviously. Ginger gets the the granny the granny outfit. Still need to figure out Pal though. Tell me your non-magical form. That looks nice. And I'll also be giving 
my other horse, which I've named Holly. Hello, Holly. Need to figure out what style outfit I should give Holly. Which I think the right train chain of action. Tra train of action? That doesn't sound right. What is this supposed to be? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Um, I can give like the snowy outfit. Turn of events? I don't know. I haven't really planned any of this. I think that works. That's kind of cute. Winter horse gets a winter set. Deers also just naturally remind me of winter, so there is that. Where did I put the matching outfit for this? Up here. Holly's complete outfit, pretty much. Cute. And then, if I were to ride Ginger... Ginger is more cozy than anything. Cause look, gingerbread. I hate when I forget anything, but that's just also my personality, so I, ha I kinda have to deal with it. Okay, I need to arrange everyone. Everyone back in their stables. Everyone in the pastures are supposed to be in the pastures. We have a full walk around. Hi, Noble. We were talking about you earlier. Hi, Darkness. Hello, Miracle. Copper. North, <laughs> being all prim and proper. Love, Holly, and Ginger, and we're riding Ember. And then there's probably 20 some more in the pasture. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of training and then I'm probably just gonna end stream there. We got D&D tomorrow. I need to be well rested and try to figure out what the heck we were doing. Or at least what I was doing. And I want to get back to Umbrella Academy. I just got into the second season. I am... Oh my god. I am brainstorming so many fanfictions. I really want to write. I made it so if I want to write anything, I'll roll a d12? Is that a thing? A d12? Probably three d4s. I'll roll three d4s, add them together, and whatever it lands on, that's what I'm writing. So th that's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> There's so many things I want to write that I just I can't focus on all of them. I'm just hitting all of them. I'm hitting every single jump. Wrongly, but I am hitting it. It's so dark. What happened to the northern lights? There's usually northern lights in the sky during the winter. Not. Winter. There we go. I had to refresh it. I got the northern lights back. It was glitched. <laughs> At least I... No, that's an event. What happened to the northern lights? 
What, what happened to the, n the natural northern lights are just gone? That's a bit upsetting. I need to look this up. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know it was controversy for a while. Whether or not Umbrella Academy is getting season 4? I feel like the it was decided that no, that they're not going to do a season 4. But I don't know for certain. Why does that board say 8 now? It said 26 last time I checked. It, sa it says 8 now. What is happening with my brain? I feel like season 2 is focusing more on 5 now, but that might just be my brain that's focusing more on 5 because now that I realize I like him as a character, I'm just like studying every part of him. Like I did with Deeds and Sam. Like I like them as a character, so I'm gonna study everything about them. See what makes them tick. See what makes them special. Which is like a scientist mentality, but I'm a writer. You never want a scientist to have that mentality because you know they're going to run experiments. But as a writer, you're just going to get a whole bunch of fan fiction, to be honest. Which isn't that bad, depending on what direction they take it in. Okay, we, we have to be honest. Sometimes it can be really bad. Isn't there something out there that is like the world's most popular fan fiction is like all the characters in Mario and it's like 125 chapters long and it's still getting updated and it's so bad but everyone knows of it because it's bad. Like I'm pretty sure there's several articles about this one fan fiction. What, what do you mean there's Mario fanfiction? Of course there's Mario fanfiction. There's fanfiction of freaking everything. Go to fanfiction.net and go to whatever category you want. It'll all be in an alphabetical order. Seen this one show that has one season? Odds are there's at least one article of fanfiction on it. At least one. Are you kidding me? I was on TikTok the other day and someone wrote um, adult content fanfiction about the Grinch. Well, tell, tell me why they wouldn't write something involving Mario and Luigi or possibly just Yoshi. Like, come on. Yeah, that's called the human race. We are just naturally, naturally born weird. That is who we are. We're just naturally weird people. I want to see if I can do something <clears throat> before we end. Okay. There's actions. I know there is. Uh There we go. Th that looks wrong. Uh Not listening. What does that look like? Okay. Okay. I wanted to mess with some of this stuff. 
Shall we find someone to raid? I know it's a really short stream, but I want to get back into the Umbrella Academy. And I'm just... The fan fiction, man. <laughs> All the ideas of, of fan fiction is just rolling through my head. How late is it in the US? It is almost 8 p.m. on the East Coast, that at least. Welcome in, by the way. So it's not super late, and I know it's been a short stream, but uh, I want to watch Umbrella Academy. <laughs> uh, I'm the binger. I sit down and I just watch the whole show. So being away from the show for more than an hour is, is such a hard concept for me to grasp. Let's see. Who should we raid? I know this person. This person just ended. Boo. Okay. Who else? I can't raid someone that's not live. Um, let's see. We could raid Enchanty. Yeah, why not? Let's raid Enchanty. If you don't know, Enchanty knows. They are a writer. So, kind of on, on point there. We were talking about writing. Well, Enchanty is currently doing Writer's Corner. Uh, so make sure you be nice, be kind, hit the follow button. And I shall see you guys all tomorrow for D&D. Have a good morning, have a good night, have a good day, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone! Bye-bye! Bye, everyone! Bye-bye!